Hey guys, this is Tyler Mayforth with another post-game video blog. This is a little bit better than the last few weeks as Texas State was victorious. They beat Idaho 38-7, and I don't think beat is a correct word. They manhandled Idaho. Texas State rushed for 337 yards. They averaged 7.2 yards per carry. Um, big, big games from Sean Rutherford. He put up 267 total yards of offense, 182 through the air, 85 on the ground. He had a rushing touchdown. He had a passing touchdown. The passing touchdown went to Andy Erickson, who now has, who now has three receiving touchdowns in his last three games. He had one against Nevada, had one against New Mexico, now has one against Idaho. Um, Marcus Curry got back in a big way. He averaged seven yards per carry, rushing 12 times for 84 yards, including a 24-yard touchdown run in the third quarter. Yeah, actually in the fourth quarter. Um, can you guys believe it? Texas State actually scored in the second half of this game. They put up 24 points while holding Idaho scoreless. I know you guys are like, how did that happen? I mean, Texas State came out on a mission tonight. They wanted to dominate this team, this Idaho team who was 1-5 coming into here. They're now 1-6 following the loss. And Texas State is tied atop the Western Athletic, Western Athletic Conference standings with a 1-0 record. Idaho is now 1-1. UTSA is 1-0. Utah State is 1-0. And, uh, yeah. So the Bobcats actually played a tremendous game tonight. Leading the way on the defense, I could take a look through here. Um, I saw big games from David Mayo. He was always up the middle with pressure on the blitzes. Uh, Chad Moncure had a, who I called one of the best blitzers on the team back in the fall camp. He had a sack tonight. Um, Texas State really, really got it done throughout the game. I mean, it was a huge game. Um, Jason McLean had a massive game. Um, both Daryl Morris and uh, David Mims the second had interceptions. Um, so overall, you got to give your hats off to Texas State's rush, rushing offense. They came into this game, what was it, averaging 76.3 rushing yards in the last three games against um, opponents from the FBS. Tonight, as I said, 337 yards. The main difference with this one is Texas State changed their blocking scheme going into the New Mexico game. Fran said they usually go on a 34-35 zone blocking scheme. But they changed it up a little bit here. It didn't show against New Mexico, obviously. They only rushed for 32 yards, pretty much non-existent. They came out tonight, and it showed that the offensive line blew up some big holes for Marcus Curry and Terrence Franks and Robert Lowe, and Sean was able to get some good things going. Um, and after the game, uh, Marcus said he couldn't help but smile going through those holes that are so big. Um, this is a win Texas State needed. They now will have a, an off week on the uh, the 20th, and they'll have uh, a couple tough games coming up on the 27th. They travel to San Jose State on the, the November 3rd. They'll travel to Utah State, and then back home, finally, on November 10th, they'll face Louisiana Tech, who will, and these games will not be pushovers. It will be tough for the Bobcats, but this gives them a little bit of confidence going to this bye week so they can rest up, smile a little bit. It was homecoming tonight. Enjoy, they can enjoy the festivities. And then get back to work next week when they have a tough San, San Jose State team coming up. Um, that lost, I think, 49-24 to to Utah State, who they play the following week, as I just said. But overall, a big win for the Bobcats. It was 38-7. to um, Texas State is now 3-3 three three on the year, and it was our first FBS win since knocking off Houston in the first week of the regular season. All right, guys. This is, what, once again, Tyler Mayforth with another post-game video blog. And uh, as always, check out the blog at TexasStateSports.com and check out my coverage in the San Marcos Daily Record. Thanks a lot.